On Main Street in downtown Milford, Ohio, sits what we consider the best barbecue restaurant in greater Cincinnati. Gino's Barbecue, owned and operated by an energetic grill master and his very dedicated pastry chefing wife. My life story, I grew up here in Milford. Born and raised here in Milford. I graduated from Milford High School in 1965. Then I went to the Army. Uh, I went to the Army in Fort Benning, Georgia, to Germany, from Germany to Vietnam. So I've been around the world a couple of times been all over the world. I've been a chef at Holiday Inn, Best Western, Millcroft. I've been a chef in a lot of places. And I just recently, where I left from was uh, Procter & Gamble down to Twin Towers. I was working at Procter & Gamble, but for Airmark. I cooked for the executives, Mr. Laffley, John Pepper, global leaders, board of directors. Now this sounds glamorous. I cooked for Vanessa Williams when she would come to make her commercials, but I never saw. <laughs> then I came out here, started Geno's. Now we season the, these Boston butts. This is what our pulled pork is made of. I have to I had to go to these because I couldn't keep up. So what, when did you start your own restaurant? Um, I needed a job. <laughs> After I left Procter & Gamble, left uh, Aramark, I needed a job. Because, uh, well, I have multiple cirrhosis and I just need a job. Any kind of cooking you do, you have to love it. If you don't love it, you won't do it long. <laughs> you won't. Because, I mean, you're going to get cut, you're going to get burnt. Um, and it's hard work. It's hard work. I'm just going to sear them a little bit on both sides. And this side's done, and the other side, sear for a few minutes. And then I'm going to move them over to smoke. And right now, these guys are smoking. They'll be there ready. They've been smoking for hours. Why is it so good? I don't know. <laughs> Everything they had to me that was good, God did it. I don't know. With the barbecue, all I do is rub it down with vegetable oil and put Lowry seasoning on it. And that's it. No other rubs or anything. I make my own sauce. And maybe it's the sauce that makes it so good. I really feel good when somebody tells me that this, the food is good, then it makes me feel really good that I've done my job. I've done what I tried to do. Of course, my wife, she cooks a lot. <laughs> and we have some other help in there, and they do some, a little bit of the cooking. But basically, my wife and I do most of it. When Gino and I got married, we found that we had cooking in common. Um, I like to do a lot of baking and cake making and stuff like that. So um, we found we had that in common. So what we did was we got together at home and with our little barbecue grill, we sold um, ripped dinners and ripped tip dinners to our friends and family and stuff like that. So after we got married and moved out here, we decided that we wanted to open up a restaurant, so we started out in a gas station parking lot, and our business there grew, and so here we are now in our beautiful building. And Jean likes to say we started with a grill and a dream. <laughs> macaroni oh, wow. and cheese, Vanessa's way. <laughs> Tell me about macaroni and cheese, Vanessa's way. All right. we. Um, use only the best ingredients in our macaroni and cheese. Um, have cheese and as you can see I have, um, I put a little sour cream in there and milk and eggs and I'll salt and pepper it to taste. 
and our customers just pretty much rave over the macaroni and cheese. I love to bake and I like to decorate cakes as a matter of fact when we get this business stabilized and going pretty good that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing wedding cakes and, and um, special occasion cakes stuff like that. I, I enjoy that. That's my passion. For one thing I put a lot of love in them I, and nobody does them but me. It's not like an assembly line type thing. I do them myself and I cook the cakes myself, I decorate the cakes myself, and I actually deliver them myself. So I really like doing this. And I think um, that, you know, my work in itself speaks for itself because I, I um, put everything I have into it. People ask us why I open it in Milford. I don't know if it's because I grew up in Milford, graduated from Milford, or, but the support has just been great. People, Milford people are really good people. <laughs> We're working on a shoestring. We're working from scratch. We've got some people to believe in us. We get some more people to believe in us. This place is going to be dynamite. It's going to be dynamite. We have faith in it. <laughs> we have, we just keep the faith. We keep working. You're wondering if I'm going to stop taking yeah. a picture at some point, are you? Yeah. <laughs>